24-7, these guys are in the front line of Israel defense. You grow up, you have a normal life, and then all of a sudden you're just thrown into the everyday life of being a combat soldier, and it can be very, very challenging. I think if uh, you're a young Jewish man and you're strong, it's very important to do the army here in Israel, because if we're not going to protect our country, no one else will. We know how to run, we know how to fight, we know how to train, we know how to shoot. We never actually had fun together for a whole week. It's really great to be here for relaxing, jumping in the pool, having parties. We've been waiting for this week for so long. Now we're uh, finally here. Just being here, just being away from base, not having your gun on you, not having your vest, your magazines with you, something which releases so much pressure, something that gives you so much energy to just continue. Most of them ever been to a hotel. Watching them during the R&R &R week and watching them having a good time, I think that's a great thing that we're doing. To know that there are people out there in the world who are, they, they care and they're, they're, they're donating for, uh, so that we can have this week of relaxation. It's really a great feeling and, and it's what keeps me going. I know as a Jewish person fighting the Israeli army that the whole Jewish nation, whether it be in Israel or in the diaspora, stand behind me, are willing to fight for me. On that day that we leave, the unit is actually much more bonded and united. To be a combat soldier, it means that you're every day, every second of every day, you have to be prepared, you have to be ready to combat. The feeling that coming back here and to have a place to relax, a place to sit down, have a little talk. And just chill out, I mean have fun, get together with each other, to be more united. You're seeing your friends in a different way, you're seeing your friends as, as friends and not as army pals, which makes a very big difference. Actually changes the whole, the whole way the soldier works. We have some soldiers here who are lonely soldiers that has no family here in Israel, or soldiers who come from lower economic background. For these soldiers, the essentials that we see at home are not always at a, at a touch of a finger. The base is where they are most of the time. All these facilities are luxury for them because they don't have this at home. Such a thing will do a huge positive impact about all these kind of soldiers. Knowing that someone is donating money for you so that you'll feel better here at the base. It gives you, encourages you to continue. You know, you're not alone in it. The feeling that someone care about me, someone's miles away, doesn't even know me. He's gonna help us is something, is something great. It feels, I feel connected. I feel, I feel good. As Jewish, we'll always look after each other. And it really warms the heart to know that there are people like you who are willing to help us make our service be better. We're brothers and we're sisters and you know, it's never going to change and it proves to us that. I really want to thank the Westchester, Connecticut branch of the Friends of the IDF. You have no idea how much that, that contribution means to us. Here we are fighting for Israel and here you are helping us in the way you can. You have no idea how much it means for us. So again, thank you very much for taking care of us. And we really can't wait to see him in Israel one day.